Again, it's Connor Mike hit hard into the boards, and the Junior Americans continue to play physically early. But the Flyers looking for a counterattack here. Owen carries in. Owen gives it to Sear. Sear looks a left shot. Saved by Will Massey. Oh, good puck movement there, but cannot find a net. And the Flyers will take it away. Leading it out is Evangelisti. Evangelisti gives to Miller Agney. Miller Agney thrown on net. Goal! Miller Agney scores! David Miller Agney, that is. Shot low. And a tricky one sneaks through the pads of Will Massey. And your Flyers are flying high. Shot score by the Junior Americans. And Oliver with it. Oliver thrown on that kick, save, and a beauty amongst the bevy of bodies. Joe Young. Mason Kreitz going to take a two-minute penalty. Shot score! And the Rochester Junior Americans take the lead here. Two to one with 10.09 remaining in the first period. That goal was scored by number 12, Sean Patry of Oakville, Ontario. Patry shot high, shot hard, shot successfully. And the Flyers now trail by one with 10 minutes and nine seconds remaining in the first period. And this crowd's been silenced. Yeah, it's a tough start for the Flyers here. I know they don't want to give up two goals in the first 10 minutes of the period. So we'll see if they can get back on track here. Brian Owen carrying in, looking for help, can't find it. Thrown across the face of net, Stevens gives off. Luco shot, save Massey. Rebound chance, score! Score! And it's Parker Stevens. Free parking for the Flyers today as Parker Stevens runs the back of the net for only the second time in his USPHL career. He was a scratch yesterday, but he's a vital part today, tying the game up at two. Kyle, what happened? He threw that one in reverse and parked that one right in the top right-hand corner backhand. That's a beautiful goal right off a rebound. That's why you got to put shots on that. Oh, who doesn't love free Parker when you're playing Monopoly, right? Early in this period as well. And a huge hit by Gooch. And a save by Joe Young. Joe Young, another save. Loose in front shot. Knocked up in the air. Oh, over the net, Joe Young. Oh, the flailing save to knock that puck up over his own net. Oh, it looked like a certain score for the Junior Americans. But Joe Young says not this time. For check here, opportunity, and the puck's going to trickle back out to Keenan. Keenan shot, kick, save, and a beauty by Joe Young. Now trying to get through this Patry. Puck's still loose in front of Young. He can't find it. Shot, score, and the Junior Americans take the lead back. Three to two. As Max Luco's down to play it. Luco throws ahead. There's a man open in front. Doesn't give it to him. Shot high. Score! Score it there! Oh, and the Flyers have tied it back up. And guess who it is? Welcome back, Gianni Evangelisti. Oh, he was dinged up. But he's welcoming himself back here with a score! And your Flyers tied up at three. Time, because yesterday... Ryan Badger got a goal that we both swore was scored by Evangelisti. And now Jack lines with a breakaway shot. Score! Line shot. Score! Zach Lines, Mr. Third Period, decides to score in a second today. And it's now 4-3. to three. Your Flyers lead. Two goals in two seconds. Zach Lines seems to do it all the time. Oh, Zach Lines, your Flyers lead. Kyle, we just got done talking about the last goal. What about this one? Well, it looked like he tipped it past the Rochester player, was going the opposite way, couldn't regain, and walked right in and put it top shelf again. It, it, it seems to be a theme of the Flyers shooting top shelf on Massey. Maybe, maybe there's like a scouting report, I'm not sure. Stop there. Another one coming here. Badger Nifty skating, shot low, score! Dun -dun -dun, dun -dun -dun. Badgering the witness, no! Badgering the goaltender, yes, as Ryan Badger, your loyal captain, makes a nifty move inside, outside, upside down, putting it in between the five hole of Will Massey and your Flyers lead five to three. That's definitely Sports Center top ten material right there. That, he danced that one right in on touch. At the Keenan, and this is what Kyle was just talking about: the possession in your own zone. Not just trying to fire at the net. Shot deflection somehow caught by Joe Young. Oh, how'd he see that one? Deflected off of Connor Boyd. And Joe Young finds it. 
Look what I found, folks. Mighty Joe Young staying mighty in net. He's thrown behind the net. Throwing the other side. Shot score. The Rochester Junior Americans answer back. And that one's Connor Boyd, the leading goal scorer for the Junior Americans, making this a one-goal game. This one's carried in now. Giving off to Gooch. Gooch with an open chance. Shot low. Score! It was a deflection. We'll see who was on it. Gooch created the opportunity. There was a kick, save, and a rebound score. Oh, and ladies and gentlemen, he's not the student. He's the Burmaster. Greg Burmaster, the Colorado College commit, scores for the second time in two days since committing to Colorado College. Oh, what a rebound chance created by the impeccable Trevor Gooch. Keenan loses it to Sear, but is able to hold it in. This is where you would think the goaltender would leave, but he's still in net. Still not taking an extra skater on. And thrown in net, they score! Even in even strength, the Junior Americans. And you know, I will always say when I'm wrong, they didn't need the extra skater. And it is six to 6-5, the Junior Americans score back. Net. This is a win by the Flyers in their own zone. Gianni Evangelisti progressing down. Shot! Can it go in? Bouncing puck off the post. Goal! And that should seal it up. Gianni! Here's Johnny Evangelisti as an empty netter is put home. A bouncing puck, kind of like a knuckle puck. And Emilio Estevez would be proud, folks, as the Flyers lead 7-5. to five. Two, one, and once again, your Flyers are victorious. Your Flyers win. The winning net goes to Joe Young, who's now the second winningest goaltender in the USPHL. The star of the game for me, Gianni Evangelisti. Kyle, you got anyone you want to highlight today? I had to go with the same one. I hate to be boring. Uh, you know what? I'll go with Greg Burmaster. Oh, Came like out it. and had another two assists after a, a goal performance yesterday. So let's give it to Greg for me. Until next time, Kyle, did you have fun today? I had a great time. Well, I did too. This has been... Dan Kemchek and my man Kyle signing off, Flyers fans. Another two game series for your Flyers and another two wins in the bag, right, guys? You excited? We're here with Gianni Evangelisti and Ron Greco. Ron, we're going to start with you. How does it feel to have Gianni back? Gianni's been out, a little dinged up. He had to work the camera for me one game. How does it feel to have him back and have him help you? Uh, it's awesome. He comes in and contributes right away. You know, we always know where each other is on the ice, and you know, Badger throw him in the mix, and it's just a great line, and uh, it's fun playing together. Gianni, how many times did you score today? Uh, I think I had two goals today. Uh, my line mates both set me up for nice plays on both of them, so just happy to be back. And now. Why are you being back? Are you just like so overzealous in the ice? Is there no fatigue in a game in these games this weekend when you're coming back from being stuck in the bench for so long? Uh, I wouldn't say there's no fatigue. I'm pretty tired right now, but uh, definitely just being back. There's definitely an adrenaline boost just being out there with uh, Ron and Badger. And now dealing with an injury for as long as you did, it was a few weeks, right? Do you have any feel? A lot of athletes call it almost athlete purgatory, right? You're kind of sitting there. You can't be involved with the guys. The guys are doing all these things. Was there any way you kept yourself involved when you were injured? Oh, uh, yeah, it's definitely hard, you know, watching your buddies play without you. But, uh, you know, they're all good guys. They all, uh, I don't know, they still let me be around the team when I'm here. I got to practice and all that, so it wasn't too bad. Now, Ron, all over the ice all weekend, it's a real Greco echo echo, right? You just keep scoring. Where's your success coming from? Is it any? Is there any help coming from Badger getting on your guys' line? Oh, yeah, for sure. Badger, he's all over the ice, you know, gets the pucks first, makes plays, and it just, it makes easy, it's easy to play with him. It's a lot of fun. When you're having fun, good things happen, and uh, try to keep it rolling. And now, you guys are in first place in the league. How do you guys keep the team spirits up? Your line seems to be a leading line. You started today on the, out there on the ice as the first line. How do you guys, yourselves, make this team better? Uh, just each day in practice, just work hard, you know, get a good workout in and a good skate, and uh, just continue doing what you're doing and work hard and good things will come. And now you guys have been kind of connected at the hip. Are you okay with me calling you the Bash Brothers on the air? Uh, you guys are just a great duo. Love being called the Bash Brothers. <laughs> yeah, do that, yeah. Well, thank you guys. Congrats on another win. Thanks. Yeah, thank you.